Hey everybody, this is Cody from First Choice for LastPlace.com, and this is Tenchi Muyo, No Need for Spinoffs. The Tenchi Muyo franchise celebrates its 30th anniversary this month, September 2022. Since its original debut in 1992, Tenchi Muyo has spawned over 20 subsequent OVAs, TV series, and movies. Today we'll be taking a look at every single anime entry in the Tenchi Muyo franchise. For every title, I'll give a very brief description, I'll talk about which continuity the title resides in, and I'll try to mention key production staff where it makes sense to. After that, we'll watch a short clip for most titles. For titles that have an opening theme, we'll watch that so you can get a sense of the show's art style as well as its music. A few housekeeping items before we jump right into it here. Firstly, I'm going to try to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. Just note, some title descriptions by default might give very slight spoilers about other titles. Other than that, this video will be spoiler free. Secondly, if this video looks a little PowerPointy, that's because it was based on a panel I gave a few times several years ago, so it has been adapted from that PowerPoint. YouTube did make me remove the opening themes for three titles, otherwise I couldn't publish the video due to copyright infringement. If one of your favorite OPs is missing, I do apologize. Finally, I'm going to do my very best with my Japanese pronunciation. It probably won't be perfect, so domo arigato. Tenchi Muyo Ryooki is a seven-episode OVA series that was released between 1992 and 1993. It was created by Kajishima Masaki and Hayashi Hiroki. It was written by Hasegawa Naoko. The basic plot involves a seemingly normal high school boy, Masaki Tenchi, who ends up being surrounded by a group of alien women who fall in love with him and want to marry him. This basic premise of having a main character surrounded by a large group of supporting characters who are in love with them is called a harem series. Tenchi was not the first harem series, that honor probably goes to Urusei Yatsura, a series that started back in the 1970s. It's essentially a variation of the love triangle tropes that are popular in romantic comedies. While Tenchi was not the first harem series, it was an immensely popular and influential harem series. It created a lot of the character templates and archetypes that are still used in the genre to this day. Tenchi features a large group of strong female characters. While there's no mistaking the main demographic for this was teenage boys, there are also a lot of women or girls who like the show as they identify with one or more of the strong female characters. As far as tone, there's a good mix of drama and comedy. So it's a dramedy, if you will. In the first OVA, there's probably more of an emphasis on comedy. Tenchi is very much a slower slice of life series meets sci-fi, which the side of Red Dwarf wasn't super common, especially in the early 90s. With the first OVA, the first four episodes are almost all character introductions and exposition, leading up to the battle with Kagato in episodes 5 and 6, and the aftermath of that battle in episode 7. Tenchi Muyo Galaxy Police Mihoshi Space Adventure, aka the Mihoshi Special, is a single episode OVA released in 1994. Hayashi Hiroki is credited with the story concept and is also the executive producer here. In this OVA episode, Mihoshi tells the story of her biggest galaxy police case, with the main cast making cameos as different characters. It's also the first introduction of Makibi Kione, Mihoshi's partner, and Pretty Sammy, Sasami's magical girl alter ego. As far as continuity, this is completely on its own and not related to anything else in the Tenchi franchise. Tenchi Muyo Ryooki, the second season, is a 6.5 episode OVA series that was released in 1995. The .5 is because there's a bonus episode, 13.5, which is essentially a radio drama set to light animation. Hayashi Hiroki would leave the OVA continuity, giving Kajishima Masaki complete control over this one and the entire OVA continuity going forward. The second OVA was written by Kuroda Yosuke and directed by Yatagai Kenichi. It focused more on characters that didn't get much screen time in the first OVA, so there's an emphasis on Sasami, Washu, and Ryooki. The main plot here involves Lady Tokimi sending Dr. Clay to capture Washu. You also get to meet the Dry Rail family. This one is a direct sequel to the first OVA series.
Magical Girl, Pretty Sammy is a three-episode OVA series released between 1995 and 1997. It was written by Kuroda Yosuke. Hiyashi Hiroki is credited with the original concept and was the supervising director here. This one is a parody of a Magical Girl series like Sailor Moon or Wedding Peach. The plot here is Tsunami is trying to get the throne of a planet known as Jirai Helm. To do so, she has to choose an idol who's going to restore love and peace to the Earth, whatever that means. She chooses Sasami, who transforms into Pretty Sammy. Characters from the main series make cameos here as other characters. As far as continuity, this is completely its own thing again. Tenchi Muyo TV, aka Tenchi Universe, is a 26 episode TV series that aired in 1995. This was directed by Nagishi Hiroshi. Some of the writers here include Hasegawa Naoko, who worked on the first OVA series, and Kuroda Yosuke, who worked on the second OVA, and Pretty Sammy. This is essentially a retelling of the OVA series. All the main characters are here, but they have slightly different backgrounds and personalities. The biggest difference character-wise is the addition of Makibi Kione, Mahoshi's Galaxy Police partner. Outside of the first two OVA series, this one is probably the most beloved series in the Tenchiverse. People really, really like this. The biggest criticism that can be made against this series is its very loose plot structure. It starts off with character introductions and starts to build some series-long plot threads, but it gets lost in the middle and serves the audience a ton of filler episodes. The series definitely picks back up in the final few episodes and knocks its emotional ending out of the park. However, you do have to sit through a lot of filler to get there. As far as continuity, for right now this is its own thing, though it will tie to some titles we'll talk about momentarily. I'm not a 
Tenchi Muyo in Love, aka Tenchi the Movie, is a 95-minute, you guessed it, movie released in 1996. This was directed and written by Nagishi Hiroshi, who directed the first TV series. The plot here is an extremely powerful intergalactic criminal Kane breaks out of the Galaxy Police headquarters where he was imprisoned. He goes back in time to get revenge on the House of Jirai and attempts to kill Tenchi's mother, Achika. This means Tenchi starts to disappear in present day, so he and the girls have to travel back in time to try and save his mom. Tenchi the Movie is a direct sequel to the first Tenchi TV series. Magical Girl Pretty Sammy TV, aka Magical Project S, is a 26 episode TV series that aired from 1996 through 1997. Both series composition and additional writing credits go to Kuroda Yosuke, who worked on the second Tenchi OVA series, as well as the Pretty Sammy OVA series, which this is basically a retelling of. Tsunami must pick someone to make the world a better place in order to get the throne on the planet Jirai Helm. So she gives Sasami the power to transform into Pretty Sammy, a magical girl. Tsunami's rival, Rumia, hypnotizes Sasami's best friend, Misao, to fight against her. The Tenchi characters make cameos again here, but different cameos than in the OVA series. Again, this is a Magical Girl parody. This is actually a lot smarter and funnier than you'd probably give it credit for. Outside of the OVA canon, this is probably my favorite Tenchi spinoff. Continuity-wise, this is another one where despite it being a retelling, it's completely its own thing. Shin Tenchi Muyo, aka Tenchi in Tokyo, is a 26-episode TV series that aired in 1997. The first thing you'll notice is that the art style is a lot different. The main plot here is that Tenchi goes to college in Tokyo. There's a Monster of the Week thing going on as well. There's also a new love interest for Tenchi, Sakuya. I think it's at this point many people start to ask if the franchise is perhaps starting to be milked. This series is universally hated. Even the people who like it generally say something like, if you don't go in expecting Tenchi, it's actually not that bad, which isn't exactly a glowing endorsement. As far as continuity, despite it being the second Tenchi TV series, while all the characters are here, once again, they have new backgrounds and slightly different personalities, so it's actually completely its own thing. No matter what you think of the series itself, this is objectively the worst opening theme you'll be watching in this video. Tenchi Muyo, Midsummer's Eve, aka Tenchi the Movie 2, aka The Daughter of Darkness, is a 60-minute movie released in 1997. 
Hasegawa Naoko, who worked on the first OVA series and TV series, actually wrote a series of Tenchi Light novels, and this movie is an adaptation of one of them. The plot is around Christmas time, a new girl appears in the Masaki home, claiming to be Tenchi's daughter. She then promptly tries to rape him. It's a really great Christmas movie. The continuity here is weird as well, since Hasegawa Naoko worked on the first OVA and the first TV series. The continuity is kind of a hybrid of both, but it's also neither. So again, this turns out to be completely its own thing continuity-wise. パパ、背中流しあげるやめろ。やめろ。自分を超えてやってきた16歳の少女マユカはテンチの娘なのか。やがてテンチとマユカはとてつもない事件に巻き込まれていく。ずっとここにいたかった。ミッサマ。ファイ
Ten Chimuyo Ryooki Season 3 is a seven episode OVA series that was released between 2003 and 2005. This is another Kajishima Masaki series with series composition by Kuroda Yosuke and direction by Yatagai Kanichi, who directed the second OVA. There's a new girl in the harem, Noike, who shows up to the Masaki residence one day, claiming to be Tenchi's fiance. The girls and the overall romance plotline really take a backseat here, as the third OVA focuses on the Goddess War. Lady Tokimi sends Z, the main antagonist here, to observe Tenchi, and he initiates a massive chain of events that make up the whole of this series. Reception to this series in the West was very mixed. Those who hadn't seen GXP or read a lot of supplemental material that hadn't been officially released in English were confused as many of these new characters got no introduction here. Certain events or reference that happened in other series or supplemental material confusing Western fans again. Additionally, this is where the OVA continuity begins to shift from a smaller harem series to an epic space opera. Some people didn't like that either. The third OVA belongs in the same canon as the first two OVA series and Tenchimuyo GXP. Sasami Magical Girl Club is a TV series that ran for two seasons between 2006 and 2007. This is a reboot of the older Pretty Sammy series. It's a whole group of girls this time around instead of just Sasami and Misao. It uses a vastly different art style and is focused more on a younger demographic. Like the other Pretty Sammy series, the Tenchi cast does make cameos here. This is completely its own thing continuity-wise.
Sage Machine Master Story in the Different World, aka Saint Knight's Tale, aka Tenchi Muyo War and Geminar, is a 13 episode OVA series that was released between 2009 and 2010. This is another Kajishima Masaki series written by Shirane Hideki. This tells the story of Tenchi's half brother Kenshi, who gets sent to another world where he has to pilot these giant mecha in order to save it. This is another harem series. While there's plenty of action here, there's also a good mix of drama, comedy, and those slower slice-of-life moments that Kajishima series are known for. While many Western fans were in love with OVA 3, they tended to like this one a lot more. It probably didn't hurt that you could more or less jump right into this one without any prior knowledge or lore. This one is in the same canon as the first three OVA series and Tenchi Muyo GXP. Tenchi Muyo is a TV series that was released in 54-minute episodes, with 10 recap episodes, in 2014. This was directed by Nagishi Hiroki, who worked on the first TV series and Tenchi movies 1 and 3. The plot here is Tenchi has to go undercover at an all-girls school. This one was created as part of the series' 20th anniversary celebration, and actually received funding to promote tourism in the city of Takahashi Okayama. Fan reaction here was pretty lukewarm, especially due to the micro-episode format. Despite Nagishi directing, you'd think this is in the same continuity as the first Tenchi TV series. However, the absence of Makibi Kione here means the continuity is nebulous, and this is probably its own thing and not connected to anything else. <sighs> shower, shower. Hi. Oh, arigato. だって今日一日天地に会えなかったから寂しかったんほらせんなかなんがしてやるよやめろってえんりょするなよっていうかボロボロじゃねえか誰にやられたんだよ天地にこんなことするなってただじゃお金よこまで入ってきたらさらにめ
It's a lot of establishing backstory and exposition for an entirely different series that had come out over a decade ago. With OVA 3, I think someone could watch it, understand the basic story, and like it enough to want to go back and catch up on the other series and supplements to fully understand what's going on. That's not happening with OVA 4. We said that with the third OVA, the OVA continuity started to turn into a massive space opera that became hard to follow for newcomers. With OVA 4, it becomes impenetrable. No one new is going to watch this and like what they see enough to backtrack to the older series. You need such a deep understanding of this world and the other series and supplemental materials to enjoy this one or understand what's going on at all. I get why people don't like this. However, for someone who has been following the franchise for almost three decades and is utterly fascinated with the world Kajishima is creating, this does give you a deeper understanding of the world and its characters. At this point, Kajishima is catering to a very niche audience, or you could argue he's not catering to an audience at all, and he's just doing what he wants to do. OVA 4 is in the OVA continuity with the first three OVA series, Tenchi Muyo GXP and Tenchi Muyo War in Geminar. Tanchimuyo Ryooki Season 5 is a six-episode OVA series that was released between 2020 and 2021. Again, this is a Kajishima Masaki series. Like OVA 4, it was written by Shirane Hideki. OVA 5 continues on with some of the biggest complaints from OVA 4, including the introduction of a bunch of unfamiliar and or new-to-the-anime characters. I think a lot of fans were expecting this to move the main story along, but like OVA 4, OVA 5 is still acting as a kind of bridge between OVA 3 and War and Geminar. While it does still act like a prequel to War and Geminar, it also does give more screen time to the original cast. It answers the question of who Tenchi will choose, although that answer has been pretty obvious for quite some time. It fills in more blanks on the world Kajushima has been creating for decades, and we see several characters from Duel, GXP, and his light novel series Paradise War. Again, if you don't have your PhD in Tenchiology, OVA 5 will not make much sense to you, though it's probably more easily understood to newcomers than OVA 4. Generally, people tend to like this one more than the previous OVA for the reasons discussed. The good thing is, I think it's safe to say that the gap between OVA 3 and Geminar is finally bridged, so if we ever do get an OVA 6, it seems likely it will move the main story forward. OVA 5 is in the OVA continuity with the other four OVA series, Tenchi Muyo GXP and Tenchi Muyo War and Geminar. But wait, there's more to this continuity.
Photon is a six-episode OVA series that was released between 1997 and 1998. This is another Kajushima Masaki series. This was written by Kuroda Yosuke. Photon is the titular character here, and he ends up accidentally getting engaged while trying to keep his sister out of trouble. This is another Harem series. This is also a rare case in anime where the series shows full frontal male nudity, so if you're into that, check this one out. This exists in the OVA continuity, and you'll notice the connection to War and Geminar, especially with things like the Koros and the mention of Aho energy. Space Opera Aga Ruder, aka Spaceship Aga Ruder, is a four-episode OVA series that was released between 1998 and 1999. This was directed by Kajishima Masaki. It's actually a hentai series, so we won't be seeing a clip here. This was stopped at episode 4, and the series was never concluded. This takes place in the Tenchi Muyo OVA continuity, and one of the characters from the Tenchi OVA series is likely one of the main characters from this series. Duel, Parallel Trouble Adventure, is a 13-episode TV series with an additional OVA episode that was released in 1999. This is another Kajishima Masaki harem series. The plot here is the main character, Yosuke Katsuki, is sent to a parallel world where he has to pilot a giant mech in order to save it. The main writer here was Kuroda Yosuke, but Shirane Hideki worked on several episodes as well. This exists somewhere between a parody and homage to Evangelion. This is in the OVA continuity with a pretty huge connection to GXP, which I won't mention because spoilers. Battle Programmer Shirase is a 15-episode TV series that was released between 2003 and 2004. This was directed by Hayashi Hiroki. The plot here revolves around a mysterious computer hacker. This is just worth a brief mention because Misao from the Pretty Sammy series plays the main character's niece. El Hazard has two TV series and two OVA series that released between 1995 and 1998. The first OVA series was co-created and directed by Hayashi Hiroki, who worked on the first Tenchi OVA series. The basic plot here involves a group of high school students and their teacher being transported to an Arabian Nights-style world. This isn't really related to Tenchi canonically, but it's always been thought of as kind of a sister series to Tenchi, so it's worth bringing up. The first OVA is excellent and an absolute classic and should be seen at all costs. The second OVA series is Hot Garbage, the first TV series is also Hot Garbage, but the second TV series, which belongs in the El Hazard OVA continuity, is pretty decent.
So, we've made it through each and every anime entry in the Tenchi Muyo franchise. Congratulations. I just want to point out here that one could argue this is really just the tip of the iceberg with Tenchi. Aside from the anime, there are several light novel and manga series, video games, radio dramas, doujinshi, etc. Some of these are related to and supplement and expand on some of the anime continuities we discussed here. Some are completely their own thing, and some are somewhere in between. I want to give a huge shout out to Anime News Network, Astro Nerd Boys Tenchi website, and Zenith Madisico. All three were resources for this video and helped me fill in any gaps I had in my Tenchi knowledge and history. Wait, wait, wait. I know you're about ready to close that window, and I get it. However, I will ask if you watch the video, please like, comment, subscribe, share. I know it's cliche, but this is the first video I produce for the channel, so the reaction I get here will kind of determine if it's worth me continuing and making more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, now you can close the window.